All right, Stu, thanks for meeting the team. Thanks for inviting us. It's uh, quite funny, generally it's the other person I'm interviewing that's nervous, but today with Mr. Real Estate, uh, I got the nerves, mate, sweaty palms. What oh, an no, honour to have that. you here, mate. <laughs> mate. Real estate, bloody royalty. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's funny, uh, we had to wait for Stu because there's about three people that walked past and you seem to know every single person that was there, mate. It's a, it's a worry when you've been here too long. <laughs> 41 years in, the, in Lauriton, so yeah, it's been a long time, mate, but wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Mate, I, 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 I'm jo- I mean, all jokes aside, I don't think I've met anyone more passionate that absolutely loves real estate. Where did that come from, mate? I mean, yeah, look, I've always worked in like a customer service background. So for me, you know, I worked in the bank and the natural progression, I got into selling cars because I needed a job. And, yep. you know, that's a tough gig selling used cars. But if you do the right thing and look after people, it sort of goes from there. And then I started building houses, then I got a job in real estate. and. You know, if you love something and you do it for the right reasons, it's not a job. Like you just, I know that's a bit of a cliche, but you just got to do it for the right reasons. And it comes from that. You just, the money comes from really enjoying something and helping people achieve what they want to try and achieve. Yeah. And I, I it's think- It's never easy. As I always say, you can, have a, you can have a good year, not necessarily worrying about the customer, but if you want a career and you want longevity, I mean, people remember, and, they transact every seven or eight years. You you want to make sure that 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 sale, that transaction, that relationship was strong enough that they come back in seven or eight years That's later. That's right. You don't want to see yourself hiding in the aisles in Coles or something like that because because <laughs> you don't um, you know you haven't done the right thing by someone. And your wife probably hopes you do because I imagine it takes you about eight hours to get through. Yeah, Coles. I don't go to Coles. <laughs> 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 and um, mate, you, you do real estate really, really well and, and it was nervous buying your business because of the, the really high standards that you took, but you've worked so well within the team. Tell me that changeover from, from running your team and then becoming Lifestyle Group. What, what's the, what, what are we at? Are we 12 months? I don't even know. What's the 12? So it's like 14 months. 14 I'm not, months. I'm not counting at all. <laughs> <laughs> 15 months nearly. Look, it was hard to let go. Yeah. Um, we had, like, we had a really team-based business yeah. and there was no rock stars in our business. And I think if everyone can work together, that's the secret of a strong business. You know, everyone's got a different strength and it's understanding what they are and, and you know, working as a team. So letting go of the business was really hard and I still find myself talking to the property management girls about different things, yeah. staying involved, but yeah. that's my nature, you know, like they were the people who helped me have a successful business, whether it be the clients or, or the team. And, you know, what I've learned from you has been, you know, it's given me a life back, which is, that's probably the best thing about it. Like yeah. I didn't have a life. Now I surf every morning, I, you know, can have a bit of time, which is, it's an amazing thing. And give you all the stress, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say to that. Can we go off camera for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> um, but saying that, mate, you've had some of the best months you've ever bloody had. <laughs> oh, for sure. Look, honestly, I thought I was working part time and I, I wasn't prospecting like a normal age and I wasn't doing things in the real estate way. Yeah. But I probably had the biggest 12 months ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, and, I, and I'm not about dollar figures, but actual numbers, like we've, what else we're doing, Susie and I probably transacted just over 100 deals. Yeah. That's a lot of property to sell. And, and I think what, um, you know, when you look at the traditional real estate, you were wearing the accountant's hat, the marketing hat, the HR hat, the, the training hat. hat. You're wearing all those hats. Yep. So you're enjoying now that we've got a creative team, that we've got an accounts team, coaching, blah, blah, blah. Is that, that must help? Yeah, definitely. Like you can do as much as you want within your business, which if someone says there's no opportunity they're not trying hard enough. Honestly, you're not you're not trying hard enough because the opportunities are there, whether it be the training, whether it be the sport, whether it be anything. It's amazing. And you know, that's something that I think people should aspire to if they're looking for a career change, and I'm not trying to prospect for, for <laughs> agents here, but as a level, what, what Elders Lifestyle Group offers is is unprecedented, I think. I don't think anyone offers anything like that. Yeah. Like we were at a point in, before I sold to you, that we had to either grow or we couldn't retract. And I didn't have the, you know, the ability to grow anymore. And you, you've taken it to the next level. Yeah, I think that that's part of any relationship, isn't it? I mean, I remember when we sat down and, and looked to make that transaction, it was sort of, well, that was your job to go and list and sell. And, and my job was to take as many of those headache, headaches as possible. For the sure. mentoring is a huge part, mate. I absolutely love it. 
And I see um, you and your mate Stokesy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's been a big part, mentoring part of real estate. Oh, for sure. Like Andrew started with me when he was 17. Yeah. And there's days that he amazes me <laughs> and there's days they probably want to kill him. But, you know, <laughs> but all in all, just that right of approach to to why you do the job is is a is a big thing and the girls that I work with over in North Haven same thing they just do it for the right reasons and it's been interesting to work with other other guys as well so you know mentoring for me it's just sharing life experience isn't it yeah and then um obviously I wasn't born you know up this way but I've been up here for you know nearly five years now and and and, and I'm slowly getting more and part of the community the community is a huge part of your business. Yeah. I mean, is that a conscious decision or is that, I mean, for other people that are watching that might own a business in town, I think this is probably one of the biggest things that's helped you have the career that you've had. Yep. Was it a conscious decision or it's just? It's just, it's just who I am. So, you know, if someone needs a hand or if there's, you know, if you can offer just that little bit of guidance or support or whatever it might be, you know, it comes back in spades, but it's just, it's gotta be, you can't just make that happen. It has to be part of you to go and do that. And um, like, I love this community. I've been here 41 years and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. But, but um, you know, you've just got to go out on a limb, no matter how busy you are, there's always someone who needs a hand as well. So it's got to be, you know, that balance. Mate, we had, with the floods, we had a really emotional time. And I know, I mean, that week or, or more, you, you pretty much took straight off and got, it must have been pretty special to be part of the community where you guys just went from house to house and helped. Oh yeah, it was, you know, I don't want to be, we just did it as a group, you know, I hung around with 25 year olds who just about killed me with the amount of work <laughs> we did. But it was, you know, people were in the worst part of their lives and helping them through that. And you know, we're involved in a lot more stuff now for that, but it's really tough to throw out someone's life on the street. Yeah. And you, you've got to, like, for me, the way you think with empathy and real estate and all those sorts of things helps you get people through that that time because yeah, they've got a long way to go, those people. So. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I mean. Now the sun's out and it's dried out. We sort of sometimes we can forget that people are still going through a world yeah, of hurt. I reckon there'd be you know probably 300, 350 houses still at the moment that people can't live in. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a different time, but yeah, we're lucky. We've got a great community. And then, I mean, real estate, we're connected so much with our community. So to finish off, mate, if um, people are at a point where they're about to start their career or they've been in their career and they need to make some changes to get going, give me one to three tips that you think would be important to, to build a really, you know, we can all have a job, but career is something different. So you've got, to, you've got to live and breathe it. So you've got to commit to it. It's, it's not a nine to five, five day a week job. Yep. If you are gonna be a solid agent within your area, you need to really knuckle down for the first two to three years. I'm not gonna say don't have a life, but you need to make this your focus as far as what you're gonna do and, and you know, live and breathe it to a certain extent. Number two, don't worry about the money. The money comes from doing a really good job and helping people with their end result. You know, I'm really simple on that sort of thing and I never count the money. I've talked to you about my little point score system. Yeah. That works perfectly, yep. it's just simple. And then number three, be part of the community, do it for the right reasons, help people, whether you don't sell them a home, whether you don't get that listing, you know, you're still gonna be humble and really, you know, be happy for whatever people do, you know? So so be genuine, there you go, genuine. Do it for the genuine reasons. And uh, this one's maybe, for me, just as much as our viewers, because we've been in a real, real crazy market, yeah? I've been doing this 20 years and I've never seen a market like it. It's insane. What's your thoughts for real estate market here in the next one to three years? What's gonna? Look, I've always felt we're undervalued in yeah, the marketplace. I agree. And I think, you know, it's certainly got some, a well, a lot more to go as far as growth, which is scary in a lot of cases. Um, you look up and down the coast, the gap between us and, you know, further you, north. Well, if you, I mean, if you look at an area where you need to live and work and be able to have a family, you, it pretty much stops at um, Newcastle, really. Yeah. Um, and we're so undervalued compared to Newcastle. 100%. And then if you get up to Evans Head and Byron and what's going on there, I mean, it's ridiculous. So yeah. three, three million dollars doesn't buy you much. So I believe even when Sydney stops or Newcastle stops, I still think we've got another probably one or two years of growth behind Definitely. that. Definitely, we always sat a little bit behind Sydney and you know, the gap between us and Sydney used to be here. It's here now. Yeah. So we've got some closing to do. And I think if you are, everyone thinks, oh, the property market's gonna drop like last year, 30% it's gonna drop. It never happened. 
we know we've probably had the opposite. Um, so if you are thinking about, there's never a better time, interest rates are cheap, commit to it, and you know, get out of your comfort zone and buy a home. Beautiful. All right, you've heard it from Stuart. Love having you part of the team, mate. Thanks, Thank mate. you very much. Pleasure. See you again Thank soon. You. Cheers.